What's up, YouTube? This is Detroit Borg with the second half of my iOS 4.3 walkthrough. Yesterday, we looked at the iPad. Today, it's the iPhone and iPod Touch. Now, keep in mind, iOS 4.3 is only compatible with iPhone 3GS, iPhone 4, iPod Touch 3rd Gen, and iPod Touch 4th Gen. Sadly, Verizon's iPhone does not receive 4.3, so some of these features will not work yet. First up, let's talk about the one iOS 4.3 feature not available uh, on any other device besides iPhone 4, and that's the personal hotspot. Just like the service available on the Verizon iPhone, this now allows GSM iPhones to act as Wi-Fi hotspots for up to five devices, although carriers may limit that to fewer. To activate the service, you must have a tethering data plan, and rates vary depending on your provider, but in the U.S., it's an additional $20 per month. Also new to iPhone 3GS and iPhone 4 is a new setting for messaging reminders. Previously, the only option was to turn it on, which simply repeated the message twice. But now you can select anything from 1, 2, 3, 5, or 10 reminders. Next up, Safari has been updated with a new Nitro JavaScript engine, which more than doubles JavaScript performance and speeds up website rendering. In fact, if we look at the benchmark results from the SunSpider JavaScript tool, we can see performance nearly tripled with 4.3. On 4.2, the benchmark took over 10,000 milliseconds to complete, while 4.3 took only 4,000. All iOS 4.3 devices also pick up iTunes home sharing, which now allows you to wirelessly access your iTunes content from your computer from within the same home network. Once again, you will need to update to the latest version of iTunes and activate home sharing by selecting Advanced, Turn on Home Sharing, and enter in your Apple ID. Then go to your iPhone or iPod and choose Settings. Select iPod on the iPhone or Music on the iPod and enter your Apple ID under Home Sharing. Now load the iPod or Music app on your device, select Shared, and there you will see the available iTunes library. Select your library and give it a few moments to load the content. Now you can directly browse your iTunes playlists, songs, artists, albums, etc., all without syncing the content to your device. Playback of music is just as you expect. You can select your song, skip to the next track, or scrub. This also works the same for movies, but again, you may need time for buffering while the movie loads. This also works with AirPlay, which eliminates the need to bring up Apple's remote app to control your iTunes content on your Apple TV or Airport Express. AirPlay has also been enhanced. It can now recognize and playback content to any Apple TV found on the Wi-Fi network without the need to configure those devices for home sharing. Also, video playback within third-party apps has finally been enabled. AirPlay can also playback video from your photo gallery, as well as play slideshows, complete with transitions. In other minor details, you can now cancel downloads in progress by tapping and holding the icon and selecting delete. And just like on the iPad, the chalkboard font on the Notes app has been replaced with Noteworthy. The FaceTime icon has also been revised. So once again, guys, this is Detroit Borg with a look at iOS 4.3 for the iPhone and iPod Touch. Thanks for watching.